Hey everybody, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Jeff Hawk, Technical Director for Sheffield Metals, and today we're gonna to be talking about the new SMI installation manuals. We ended up creating new installation manuals um, instead of the installation details we had before. The installation details we had were good. Um, they were all color coded, had all the bullet points. There were some things lacking in the beginning sections of it um, when it talked about storage, handling, hemming panels, seaming panels, things like that. So we wanted to make it a little bit more all inclusive uh, for different things that you should see in an installation manual and not just installation details. They are not profile specific, so everything is over a substrate. So you have an installation manual for over wood, installation manual for over B-decking, B-decking with ISO, open framing. Uh, any panel that you would install on those different substrates are going to use these installation details. SMI 1.5 MS, SMI 1.5, 1.75, they're all gonna use the same ones. They're all pretty much set up the same way. All the beginning pages are the same, except for maybe the table of contents. So we can go ahead and get into it and I'll show you an example of the wood substrate installation manual. Starts off, nice cover page tells you what manual it is that you're looking at, tells you that it's for all the profiles. So general information talks about, you know, these are guidelines, this is what we recommend. Safety precautions, obviously you wanna make sure you're safe on the job site, you wanna follow all the OSHA safety precautions. Uh, you can't be too safe, so, you know, read through the safety precautions. Delivery and storage, big part of what is your roof is going to end up look like depends on how well you take care of materials on the job site. If you're roll forming panels on the job site and you're going to have a stack of panels, you want to make sure they're stacked correctly. You want to make sure that if they're going to be out there for a while, they're stacked so they can drain properly, that they have proper uh, ventilation. You want to make sure that your product is going to maintain uh, the look and the integrity before it gets on the roof while it's out there being stored. So we talk about safety precautions, but we talk about storing panels outdoors. <laughs> We have little pictures that show you how things can be done and what we recommend. Um, we talk about material handling. You know, if you're dealing with long panels, things like that, you want to get, you know, the right amount of guys on it when you're moving panels because you can cause deflection in the panels. Uh, things can get bent. You can create stress points that could end up causing oil caning on the roof, things like that. So we covered all that as well. Uh, we talk about pre-installation guidelines, we talk about system installation guidelines, uh, we talk about cleanup on the job site, we talk about how to properly hem mechanically seam panels, showing you know how to notch it, lapping it, 90 degree seam, 180 degree seam, what those look like. We talk about how to hem panels, um, you know, all basic stuff that you know you're going to be doing a lot of on the job site. Uh, thermal movement is a big one. We have our thermal movement chart in here. You want to make sure that you allow for thermal movement on the roof because metal moves. If you're dealing with a panel over 20 feet long, you are going to have to account for thermal movement. Uh, so we have a chart in there based on the type of panel material that you're using and what you're installing it over to give you a guide to how much uh, gap you should leave at your hem to account for that thermal movement. If it contracts and you don't have enough room for it to contract, it can bend your panels up at the eave. If it expands and you don't account for that expansion, your hem could come unlocked from the drip edge in the scenario. So you wanna make sure you account for that. One of the things, the main difference between the details is that we still have the color coded detail uh, with all the bullet points showing you where everything goes, but now we've also included instructions basically step by step how that detail should be installed. So it's not looking at a detail maybe that you're not familiar with, having to figure out, okay, well, I gotta put you know the drying down first and I have to put the drip edge and I have to strip the drip edge in after I fasten it off, then I can put the panel down. You could literally read step one in this, in, in this scenario, step one through step five and learn how that detail goes together before you have to put it on. It might be really good for people that are just starting off or might be newer to installations or it might be good, you know, if you have a more complicated detail and, you know, you want to make sure that you get all the steps correct. That way you don't have to go back and redo things twice, you know, especially when you're using these uh, installation details on weather type warranty projects. Everybody on your crew should be all on the same page and know how everything should be installed per what the manufacturer is recommend recommending. I'm not going to go through all the details, but they're all set up exactly the same way. Some of them are pretty simple. You get into some of the details, uh, especially when it comes to uh, head walls, side walls, they get a little longer. 
and then you get into things like uh, pipes and seams or curb details. Those are the ones that are going to be the longest. Uh, pitch transition detail, there's a lot going on in that detail, a lot of different steps. So we make sure that we account for all of them one by one in the proper sequence so you know how that detail should absolutely be installed. So those are the main changes that we made so far to the installation manuals. Uh, they're not just details anymore. It's a manual for how the roof should be installed per these details. It's information of, you know, basically what to do with the material from the time you get it to the forming the panels, storing the panels, getting them on the roof, how to be safe while you're doing it and how to properly handle them. And then, you know, step by step, how to install them uh, once you get them up on the roof. So this was the main example of using the wood decking. I'll show you another example that we have for uh, panels over steel substrates with ISO. Again, the uh, Beginning of the manual is all going to be pretty much the same, table of contents, safety precautions, storage, handling, things like that. Um, get down into the details themselves, again, they're all color coded, they all have the bullet points in them, and then the, again, they all go through the sequence step by step of how that detail should be installed. That is one of the major differences between these manuals and the old installation details we had. The installation details we had before were basically just the picture. And unless you were familiar with that detail, you might not know where to start or you might have to you know, spend more time looking at it and trying to figure out what to do than you should. So to take away you know, that time and, and having to worry about trying to figure something out, again, you start with step one, you go to the end of the steps and it should you know, walk you through how those details are installed. You know, especially there's some details that we have in here you know, with ISO and uh, metal decking, you know, we do, uh, have options for backup plates, things like that. Maybe you're not familiar with using a backup plate, might need to under, understand where they go in the process, how they're installed. Having the steps in there walks you through how to do it and you know make sure that you don't miss any steps along the way. So those are the new installation manuals. We hope you find them useful. Uh, if you have any questions about a detail, want to talk about it, feel free to give the technical department a call. We'll be happy to discuss any, uh, any questions you have. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you find these manuals useful.